Don't miss the breakout action film of the year, Triple Threat, a high-octane action-adventure martial arts thriller. The film stars world martial arts champion Jason the Phenom Sterling as Agent Kieran Richards, who is double-crossed while trying to thwart a drug and terrorist operation. Co-stars include Andre China McCoy from The Matrix and Robert Parham from Buster Jones. Hollywood film veteran Eddie Morales from The Pit Fighter will play the leading villain. Supporting cast includes Richard Hackworth and Fred Parks from the World Martial Arts TV show. And introducing the lovely Laura Castro. The film star Jason Sterling said, Martial arts films of today are missing just that, martial arts. There will be no wire work, stunt doubles, or CGI animated characters. Everything you see will be the real thing. So don't miss it. And visit www.triplethreat.theactionmovie.info. Hi, my name is Grandmaster Gregory Glover, and I'm the Executive Director of the United States National Taekwondo Association. And this is your lesson for today. Begin in Chumbi. Step into a left back stance, execute a left double knife and block high. Step into a right front stance, execute a right spear hand. Step into a right back stance, execute a right double knife and block high. Step into a left front stance, executing a left spear hand. Turn into a left front stance, executing a left knife hand high block and right inside knife hand strike. Right front kick into a right front stance, execute a left middle punch. Left side kick. Right side kick landing in a right back stance executing a right double knife and block high. Turn into a left back stance executing a left double fist block. Right front kick into the same back stance execute a right inside block. Turn into a right back stance executing a right double fist block. Left front kick into the same back stance execute a left inside block. Step into a left front stance executing a knife hand high block simultaneously with a right inside knife hand strike. Right front kick into a right front stance execute a right back fist. Turn into a left walk-in stance, left inside block, right middle punch. Turn into a right walk-in stance, right inside block, left middle punch. Step into a left front stance, execute a left inside block, execute a right and left middle punch. Step into a right front stance, execute a right middle block, execute a left and right middle punch, and key up. Return to borrow. Begin in Chumbe. Turn into a left back stance, execute a left double knife hand block. Step into a right front stance, execute a right spear hand. Turn into a right back stance, execute a right double knife hand block. Step into a left front stance, execute a left spear hand. Turn into a left front stance, execute a left knife hand high block and a right inside knife hand strike. Right front kick into a right front stance, execute a left middle punch. Left side kick, right side kick. Land into a right back stance, execute a right double knife hand block. Turn into a left back stance, execute a left double fist block. Right front kick into the same back stance, execute a right inside block. Turn into a right back stance, execute a right double fist block. Left front kick into the same back stance, execute a left inside block. Step into a left front stance, execute a left knife hand high block with a right inside knife hand strike. Right front kick into a right front stance, right back fist. Turn into a left walking stance, execute a left inside block and right middle punch. Turn into a right walking stance, execute a right inside block and left middle punch. Step into a left front stance, execute a left inside block, right and left middle punch. Step into a right front stance, execute a right inside block, 
Left and right middle punch and key up. Return to borrow. Taekwondo training, fellowship, and spirit. The U.S. National Taekwondo Association is your link to the traditional Taekwondo of Korea. We offer both national and world certifications. Our mission is to provide a fraternal organization for the promotion and preservation of Taekwondo as a martial art. We strive to service all needs of the traditional stylist from the highest level grandmaster to the beginner student. Enjoy the many benefits we offer. Grade and black belt certifications, Instructor and Master Instructor courses, Tournament Insurance, Success Seminars, State, National, and International Competitions, Business Support, Martial Arts Supplies, Monthly E-Newsletter, and Private Training Tours of Korea. Not only do we teach the best techniques, but Korean philosophy as well. We develop the complete mind, body, and spirit philosophy. Visit www.usnta.net to join today. Next, we have Dr. Ronald Stone with your Hapkido Lesson of the Week, sponsored by HeimuQuan.com. Yeah, we use that way, let me see. Hi, Albert has uh, volunteered for this segment. Again, Albert uh, never learned not to volunteer for anything. Um, we're going to talk about key manipulation and ways to interfere with your opponent's key. We're going to use this off of, a, off, of a, off of a grab. It can be used off of a punch and a number of techniques. But this is a, a fairly commonly seen uh, technique, and so we're going to kind of talk about this. One way to uh, interfere with his uh, key energy, or his strength, if you want to call it that, is to reverse his meridian. We talked about this in, in, a, in a previous segment. And there, if you go up and down the arm meridian, uh, you have wood and metal. If we reverse wood over metal, okay, into this position, all right, then that will offset it. It changes his balance, changes his position. You're actually internally rotating his joints, okay. The other way of doing this 
is to reverse the key, uh, reverse the key meridians and put metal over wood. This is a lot more painful. It's a lot more um, uh, powerful technique. But you can use key rotation as a, as a way of interrupting. So first thing, he grabs you, OK? We're going to reverse this key. Now, one error, and it's a lot of times really hard to see this on videos, and I've seen this taught in, in, uh, in other uh, uh, schools and videos. The grip, it's not just grabbing the wrist that's important. And especially don't grab the wrist itself because it's, you're not wearing a Burt Reynolds deliverance arm bar, uh, armband here. You're not protecting the wrist. We want to use that wrist. So what you do when you grab this is try to apply the principle of injection, which is the second uh, technique. And what you're doing is right in that web, there's a pressure point. And so as he grabs, and we come in, try to dig your finger into that web, and then reverse. Now, that grip, you can see by its expression, hurts a lot more than simply rotating. So you're combining pressure point injection with reversing the key. So we have injection, reversing the key. When you do a pressure point technique, for instance, if you want to hit the pressure point that's at the base of the triangle at the shoulder, it's not a straight in technique. Pressure point manipulation is always better if you go in at a 45 degree angle, either upward or downward. Why? Because you're crossing the key energy lines. So it always hurts more to do that than it does to just go straight in. So when you come in with this key grip, you're going to try to grab that web and you're going to direct it at a 45 degree angle up towards the points in the middle of the bones of his hand. You're then going to inject. Now that's going to set this whole line up here and it's going to just energize that whole wire. I mean, think of the flickering Christmas tree lights. Now the next way that you can interfere with his key is called crossing the key or raking. And that's simply a sideways movement. And now look at your opponent. You can do a lot of things from this position. You can then reverse him, etc., etc. So we're just going to go over the technique. So rather than, rather than muscling him over with strength, and trying to force this over, and then trying to hit this thing into position. That's not what Hapkido is about. Hapkido is a soft and hard art. It's soft on defense, and it's hard in offense. So when someone grabs you, you interfere with this key, roll it over. There's no effort on my part. If you look at the shoulder muscles, there's none of this strength. And then from here, you cross. The next technique is compression. So whenever you see this done wrong, you see it out here, and you see people doing this. Okay, you want this hand when you rotate it to come on to your to this. I've actually seen practitioners that do it with just simple leaning forward chest movements and then do this. Okay, so compression. Okay, so he grabs injection, rotating the key, raking the key. Okay, now you can also Again, inject, and that will hurt, believe me. Compressing the key, step back if you have to, right? Or, and he, you're gonna go right down to the floor with this, I'm raking and I'm extending the key. And so you can actually get him right down to the ground with this. So um, if you combine this as one movement with a pain compliance technique, so he's up here, he's got you, you just simply take his mind off it, and now we're down to the ground. So you, you have the, the aspects of uh, injection, rotating the, uh, the meridian, compression, extension, and injection. And injection would be like jamming that particular one. So compression can be simply, right, you've got him in here, you've got it, you simply can compress that. Or you can hit it with a knuckle, or you can hit it with a knuckle finger and inject on that point. And, and uh, so those are the main five ways that you can interfere with it. In, in other practical usage, any of you who have seen John Border's great video on finger locks or are familiar with Wally J's small circle jiu-jitsu techniques, the finger technique, someone comes at you with an open hand to kind of grab you. If you grab that finger, and you simply bend it, he's going to defend by coming forward. He might be a martial artist. He might even hit you in the, in the uh, solar plexus, uh, rim five, with that elbow of his. Or he'll just try to get out of it. If, on the other hand, when you grab, 
right? You can do it off of this, or you can do it off one of these guys that's threatening you. If you simply grab the finger and just bend it, at, you know, it, it might, if you do it quick enough, you might break it, but if you compress it, now look at it, right? How do I compress? I just block it, and when I push down in the end, it hurts more, okay? I can then reverse the key, uh, the meridian, go upside down, okay? I can inject, which we just did, compressing an injection, and I can vibrate or rake it down in. And when he tries to change directions, I simply rotate the key. So it has applications on almost any time technique. He grabs you. Same thing. You grab your finger, right? You get out, grab a finger, and now you're into this same theory, rotating, injecting, compressing. And, and, and those are the ways I can manipulate his key. Um, there are strikes in this area. Again, if I, if I simply slap him on the side of the head, he doesn't like it very much. If, on the other hand, I hit the pressure point right here and right here, simultaneously compressing them up at an angle, watch the difference between squeezing the neck, okay, I'm, I'm putting force in there, he's putting his hands on there because he knows it hurts. Now, just the thumbs right on either side, up and in at a 45 degree angle. Okay, tap out if it hurts. You may not be able to talk at this point. Okay, so if somebody comes in and is trying to strangle you, or you know, in here, all you have to do if you want to come in the inside is put your thumbs there and just shove. A lot, a lot better than trying all these fancy, you know, whatever. If that doesn't work, you can put your finger in here and again inject at a 45 degree angle downward. Gee, not a lot of strength, not a lot of sophistication, but you've manipulated his key energy. You've taken away his breathing points, you've taken away his cerebral blood flow, you've taken away his arm, right? And, and that's the principle of Hapkido, manipulating your opponent's key, his opponent's internal energy, your opponent's strength. Thank you. Up next, we have a special treat today, a sword lesson with Professor Michael McGann. Okay, the first sword kata I'm gonna show you is from a standing position. What I'm gonna do here is get into this position with the hand here. The first warning I give to my opponent not to attack me is pushing up on the suba with my thumb, releasing the blade. As I grab a hold of the katana, I'm gonna shift forward cutting, okay, decapitating him, bring the katana over the head, chibiri blood flick, and then noto receiving it back from here. Okay, now my sensei always taught that if you really know a kata, that you're able to do it blindfolded. So I want you to take the hakimachi here and see if you can look through it. it is, uh, okay, now I want you to go ahead and tie it tight on me. Okay, now I'm going to turn and face the camera, okay, from this position here, okay, here, cut. <coughs> Again, one more time. <coughs> okay. 
That was kata number one. The second kata that I'm going to demonstrate is from an opponent walking up towards me. And so that kata, let me go ahead from here. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, katana on the side as I demonstrate the katas to you. Okay, I, obviously the first one was a head decapitation kata. The second kata, if the person is coming up with a sword, what I'm going to do from here is step forward with the right, bring it from here, out here. As I step forward, I'm going to do a diagonal cut. I'm going to release the seya. Okay, step back. And I'm going to come down. Kesagiri diagonal cut. Back up to here. Chigiri. And then no toe. The next kata is from attack to the right, okay? But I want you to stay here so you can see, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four things simultaneously. I'm going to step out here. I'm going to turn the uh, kata stuck in the pakama. Okay, I'm going to turn it from here. I'm going to look over here and grab. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, all simultaneous. Okay, so from here, I'm going to cut. And then come downward with the cut, face back, chibiri, and then no toe. So my first movement is I'm stepping here, looking at my opponent. I'm going to do a horizontal cut, step forward, downward cut, step back, chibiri, and no toe. The next kata is from attack to the left. I'm going from here. Same time that I step out, I'm going to move the thumb from here, grab the katana, look in that direction, thrust, pull back, case of Gary, diagonal cut, back here, chibiri, and then a different form of no toe, receiving the blade back here. The next attack is from a person behind me and then in front. The person behind me is attacking first. So what I'm going to do is I bring up over here, turn, cut. Bring back over here, diagonal cut, chibiri, and then no toe. Again, I want to bring the say upward. As I turn around and bring it over shoulder, diagonal cut. Bring back over here, diagonal cut, chibiri, and then no toe. The next is from four different opponents attacking. One from the right, one from the left, one behind me, and one in front. So the first thing I do is drop into a kibidachi cut here, cross T stance here, downward cut here, downward cut here, chibiri, and then no toe. The next kata is from the ninjutsu style, nindo root to be exact. When the opponent, I'm going to turn the whole sword upside down, and he's close enough that I'm going to wind up preventing him from drawing his sword. I'm going to pull it all the way out to the seya, cut to his groin, bring it over the shoulder, thrust to his throat. Now our chibiri is different. From here, the blood flicked off. From here, then, we resheathe the sword from here. The next kata is a person's coming down with a downward cut very quickly. So again, I'm going to bring up here and block his sword, roll it off, thrust, chibiri, and then no toe. And the last kata from here is a very fast draw and cut kata. From here, I'm going to stand in this position here, Thrust, flip it back over, knock the blood off, shibiri, and then resheathe. And that, from here, sir, is the first movement of the live blade kata. Back from here, courtesy bow. Courtesy bow. From Hendersonville, North Carolina, I present you with the one, the only, Aikido, Hapkido, and Yusul Korean Jiu-Jitsu Master, Darren the Dragon 
Norris. Martial arts weapon master, Darren Norris. Expert at the arts, technique is the purest. Flowing like a river, cause he moves like water. Two sons, Shane and Tommy, a proud father. Hailing from Henderson, the North Carolina. Beautiful wife, Sandy, staying right beside him. He's deadly, put you in submission. He'll make you dizzy from elbows and knees that he brings. Keep switching, his sons are instructors, and both of them black belts. You in a tight situation, call them for help. The martial arts king of North Carolina. Moves at the speed of light, it might be hard to find him. Energy flowing from his fingertips. And you better run fast or you might get kicked. The dragon is his name, so you better beware. This is the real life street, there's no rules to play fair. Uh, Darren Norris, the dragon. Uh, you know you better beware.